Hey, my name is Chad on this channel. We like to make stuff and welcome back to the abandoned property rescue project uh, As you know, I've been having issues with my uh, my skid steer and it's been having trouble getting started and You know when it runs it runs great, but we need like two vehicles to jump start it We've already been through uh, we're on our second battery already uh, Problem is we've probably got a issue with the starter and the alternator and as of yesterday um, I've been losing power real bad and I shut it off and the thing was boiling uh, so we determined that it also has a thermistor, thermostat that's, all, that's gone bad. So uh, we're going to get those three things replaced so we're not even going to touch this uh, for the time being. Jeremy's out, uh, you know the guy who's been helping me with the demo. Jeremy's out, he's been getting parts for me and uh, that's where he's at today so I'm going to have to go ahead and dive into the, de the demolition of this trailer. Not that one, this one. Uh, on my own, but without the tractor, I need a wheelbarrow. And there's a wheelbarrow right over there, and uh, we're gonna have to rescue that first. Here's a tip, if you ever get these uh, uh, products that are banded like this with the plastic strips uh, and you want to take them off, you don't have a knife, find, find where the two seams are glued together and flip them around backwards, like so, and grab the back, uh, back tab and just pull it off like that.
Well, that's about it for today on the uh, demolition. I've got about a third of it left. Uh, two thirds of it's gone, kind of piled up into different uh, sections here with metal, wood, and garbage in the bin. The bin is filling up. The bin's gonna get emptied on uh, Monday, which is in like four days from now. Uh, for now, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to a separate uh, project. See how that scrub behind there? I'm gonna go ahead and get that chopped down because I've got another big purchase ordered that's gonna come within any time within the next two weeks. But I'm gonna go ahead and knock that down because I'm gonna put that back there and uh, we'll call it another secret. When that gets here, you'll see what that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to chopping on this. That's a workout. Uh, you just saw me tear off the roof of what's left of the trailer. Uh, I need to go ahead and uh, separate all the wood from the metal and uh, the actual trash. Probably a lot of the uh, the fiberglass insulation is going to go back into the, the dumpster over here. I uh, got the first full dumpster out of here this morning and we got an empty dumpster ready fresh to go. And uh, burn pits going over here and uh, now we continue to add to it with the uh, the wooden structure of what's left of this trailer. Then over here, got some new holes in the house. Uh, over here we've got the, the deck of the trailer. Uh, earlier this week, uh, this weekend actually, my brother-in-law was out and uh, helped me pull the carpet and the padding off the deck and that went into the last dumpster so that would that was actually pretty helpful and uh, got a lot of uh, mass and weight taken out of here had to follow up this morning with the power company three weeks ago i put in a work order to come and have them remove the uh, the wire that's connecting the house to their power line um, they're supposed to have that uh, taken off at least two weeks ago uh, but uh, i called them today and uh, um, it was a bit of a surprise to them and they said they'll get somebody out here right away. So we got that house uh, that needs to be disconnected. And also the red trailer has a power line still hooked to a meter there. So they're going to come out here hopefully tomorrow and uh, get that taken care of so we could actually pull this house down if we wanted to. As for the tractor repair, I've got, uh, I ordered, um, actually I purchased a alternator for this, 570 bucks. Not cheap. Uh, Jeremy was supposed to have picked that up yesterday. And uh, he's also got a starter, a rebuilt starter for this. And the uh, the thermostat. He was supposed to be here this morning. I'm not sure where he's at. It's actually uh, into the afternoon. So I've been trying to get in touch with him to see, what, uh, see what's got him held up. So um, yeah, hopefully this will be running, well, as soon as he gets out here. But uh, while I'm not gonna sit around and wait for him. I'm going to go ahead and dig into this pile.
Hey, we're back here again today. We are going to get this pile wrapped up. We're going to get it separated from uh, metals and burnables and trashables. And uh, I'm going to wrap that up today. Uh, but take a look at the, uh, the trees around. All the leaves are changing colors and starting to fall like crazy. All right, so that was the last big piece from the uh, the trailer that I've removed from the trailer location. Uh, all I got left is like this wiring I need to coil up and uh, we're gonna burn off the insulation and so we're just left with the copper wire. Uh, a bunch of, you know, little wood and, and trash I'll take to the burn pit or the bin. Um, this is what I have that needs to be burned over here this is all the recyclable metal that we can haul off to the um, to the recycling center this is galvanized steel evidently that's worth quite a bit right now um, I'm not sure I, this siding I'm not sure what that is just metal or tin or something uh, so yeah all that needs to get compacted down and put onto a trailer so it can be hauled away uh, Got some other uh, steel piles here. This part here uh, is pretty much cleaned up. If you'll recall, I had a bunch of different piles of stuff. Here's, uh, here's some cans still. I'm going to be finding stuff like this all... I'm going to be finding stuff like this for years, I think. Look at how old these bottles are. Um, this shed, I'm toying with the idea of keeping as is, just as a, uh, I don't know, sort of spooky looking and kind of kind of cool. But, I mean, I've got no plans for this space right now, so I can just leave it if I want to. The power company hasn't come and taken the wires off the house yet, this one or the red house. Um, so now that I've I've got the trailer taken apart. I'm going to go ahead and spend the rest of the day cleaning up all the little stuff and uh, and running the burn pile. You can see the sun's going down real fast. Uh, it is the end of October, so we're getting uh, we're getting sundown quite early, earlier and earlier every day. And uh, so once the once the uh, garbage is picked up where the trailer was, I think I'm going to turn my attention. To this start getting the wood off of it exposing the frame and uh, yeah we'll see what uh, we'll see what's revealed underneath might have to get a uh, cutting torch to it and uh, start cutting it up into manageable manageable pieces 
Over here I've got a log pile. It's not even firewood size logs. Uh, they're like six and eight foot pieces. I guess I can start burning those one by one, you know, chipping away. But uh, also, I have no reason to uh, tackle this right now either. I just don't have a plan for it, but you know, it is an eyesore. And back here, there are more piles of trash every 10 to 20 feet. I'll be, man, it's just so much work back there. But uh, it's my property and I want to take care of it. I want to recover it and get it the best that it can be. Um, that way, you know, I can start pushing these trees back further and opening up this space uh, to give me more options for, for what I want to do with the place, which, you know, I still don't have a plan for. All I know is I'm going to be putting up a building for my workshop. Um, beyond that, I don't quite have a plan yet. The tractor is still down uh, for the starter, alternator, and thermostat. I've got the alternator getting shipped to me. Uh, Jeremy, the guy that you met in the other video, uh, he is still planning on coming down to, uh, to do the repairs. He's got the starter and the thermostat. Uh, I think he's been, um, been distracted lately with other work and uh, some family stuff. But uh, I'm hoping he gets down here so I can get that tractor running. We can get a lot more work done with that once we get it going. That's why I got it after all. Um, we can start compacting that with the tractor, for example. But yeah, I mean, look at, look at that. All that clear space that wasn't there before. All right, so I'm going to jump on the uh, cleanup here and uh, let the sun go down. Have a good night and uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, come back for more because this is going to be an ongoing thing. This is a big project coming up. And that house, big project coming up. This tree, oh, don't go anywhere. This tree, what do you think about a tree house? That is one of the biggest trees I've seen. Probably the biggest tree on the property for sure. One of the biggest trees I've seen in Virginia, but I'm thinking I could put like 10 feet up a platform and like a round, a round platform and build a, a nice tree house, like a nice one that you could, that you could, you know, live in. So I was thinking with uh, like the siding on the house and some of the lumber that we get out, we can just use that to build a tree house. I like that idea. What do you think? Let me know in the comments.